When you get sucked into a black hole, what happens? Would the universe cease to exist or would you be transported into another reality? Black holes are a mystery until today. Scientists and astronomers have finally found out what's inside a black hole. Tune in today's video as we uncover their findings. A History of Black Holes Now, the idea of black holes wasn't around in the Greek era. In the early 1780s, a man named John Mitchell had a brilliant idea that there is a volume of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Now, anyone who heard what he described sounds terrifying. Then again, it was only an idea, or was it? Mitchell was a man ahead of his time. His ideas were obscure and no one paid attention to them. However, more and more of his scientific explanations would be reinvented a hundred years later. Now, remember that a black hole was only an idea that Michel described? The term black hole wasn't coined until 1967. Of course, this man would be dead by then, but this type of somehow poetic description was prominent during this time. It is like describing a rose as a plant that bears Lucifer's blood-red beauty. Everything was primarily abstract as humanity was still discovering more about the universe. Michel pushed that his idea existed even though it was invisible to the naked eye, but no one listened to him. It was only around 1930s that people started listening to physicists. One man has been famous throughout the years and he has that electrocuted hairstyle that makes him easier to find in the pictures in your science lab. His name is Albert Einstein. He theorized the sophisticated idea of general relativity. Here's a quick explanation of his theory. It explains that supermassive stars, bigger than our stars, could collapse under their own gravity. It occurs during the end of their life. When stars collapse, they release energy so strong that it turns into a black hole. However, Einstein didn't believe that black holes could exist, although ironically, he offered a scientific explanation for one. The First Black Hole Stemming from this theory, other scientists also created their own theories about stellar anomalies. And around the year 1970s, the black hole theory was confirmed by a student at the University of Toronto. Thomas Bolden discovered a massive but invisible object. It was orbiting around a blue star over 6,000 light years away. Coincidentally, British astronomers Louise Webster and Paul Merton at the Royal Greenwich Observatory confirmed this sighting independently. But another source claims a different first encounter with black holes. Back in 1928, people experienced a unique interference from their antennas. Almost three years later, an investigation by Carl Jansky indicated that the origin came from Milky Way. It was in the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. However, scientists found and wouldn't understand what it was until the 1970s. In February of 1974, astronomer Robert Brown firmly believed that the interference on the radio frequency came from a black hole. The community rejected Brown's idea since not even Einstein believed in it. A decade later, someone supported Brown's claim and even proposed that this was no ordinary black hole. Instead, they theorized that it's at the galaxy's center 4 million times massive than our sun. Composition What exactly is a black hole? We've described it as a big black vortex without knowing its composition. Light is known to be the fastest known object in the whole universe. But during an event horizon, or what scientists call the point of no return, light cannot escape through. It marks the edge of the black hole, and another concept is that the black hole's singularity. Wherein it is a point in space-time, infinitely tiny and dense, such that physics does not apply to anything that passes through. There are four types of black holes. Stellar, intermediate, supermassive, and miniature. Today we'll only focus on two types. The first one is a stellar black hole. Its creation relies on the death of a star or a collision of stars, and it would have a mass of 10 to 20 times our sun. The second type is the supermassive black hole. Stellar black holes are more dominant in number than supermassive black holes, and the reason for this is that it takes a lot to make one. This enormous anomaly is millions or can even reach a billion times more massive than the sun. 
Since supermassive black holes occur primarily in the galactic center, it is hard to figure out how they develop. For example, the Sagittarius A, a black hole they discovered through radio interference, is difficult to analyze, but here's what scientists know so far. Sagittarius A The event horizon of a black hole always determines its size. For example, if the distance from the center of the edge is around 4 million miles, that already qualifies it as a supermassive black hole. Their calculations on Sagittarius A determined a 16 million miles diameter. The merging of two galaxies eventually formed the Milky Way. Furthermore, scientists speculate that two black holes were merging instead of one. That's why the power was too strong and felt until 1928. Technically, black holes are pretty challenging to find. The only way you could identify one is through the changes within their environment. It is a bit unsettling since you might not know until the last minute. What if a black hole suddenly pops near us? However, there are early signs, such as a stellar explosion, and it means that as long as a star doesn't explode near Earth, there are low possibilities of black holes. Sagittarius A, in particular, is located within a stationary interference screen. It indicates that it's more challenging to be seen through Earth's view. But now, we have better technology than in the 80s, so we can try to look into it. On May 12 of 2022, scientists revealed a spectacular image of Sagittarius A. It is an enormous object at our galactic center revealed by the Event Horizon Telescope. NASA employs more than 300 astronomers, engineers, and support staff to operate this telescope. Academics from different universities and countries are also welcome to share their knowledge about new findings. Inside a black hole Astronomers use black hole's gas clouds to determine where to focus the photographs. Since light cannot pass through its gravitational force, scientists use the black hole's shadow as a focus point. At the center of the image is a sparkling ring produced by the gas. The ring is a hot region that could one day combine with a black hole. However, the light on Sagittarius A is blocking our view. The scientists apply the gravitational lensing effect, which relies on the theory of general relativity, to provide insight into what happens at the center of a black hole. In 2019, astronomers found another black hole to study. Since Sagittarius A seemed too challenging to study, they decided to look into the black hole of the Messier 87 galaxy. The M87 was 7 billion times the mass of the Sun. It equates to being 2,000 times larger than Sagittarius A, and according to astronomer Lindsay Blackburn from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, the M87 can also cover our entire solar system if it occurred near Earth. Inside a black hole, a singularity filled with intense heat. So, do black holes hold thousands of celestial objects that they devoured? Probably not, because it might just melt away. We can never be too sure though. These fantastic discoveries have led to more questions than answers. But until then, subscribe to our channel for more videos and you won't miss out on new ones. This is The Marketfly and I'll see you at the next one.